ready for this guys are you ready for this I, I, I almost feel bad about this uh, come on now come on now everybody in uh, case you don't know me. if you don't know this is my buddy Philly 500 <laughs> and you know what don't I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys right now I'm gonna say this um. right now do not give them too much crap because I'm going to tell you, no, 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 no. Unlike the other cockroach Eagle fans that are out there, he shows up. He is like me because you know what? I, I've been, I've been on the fence all day, Philly. I've been just like, I feel bad for you. And I'm just like, I, I just really don't want to make fun of you guys. You know? Yeah. I, I just, you, you, I, you, you need to do it. I mean, it, it's part of the game, man. It, it's, it's bragging rights. That's part of the game, you know? Uh-huh. So, where is what it is? Fly. What is that? Uh, uh, what? You, you, you can't see that, Phil? Oh, yeah. I said, don't look like an eagle. With the helmet? <laughs> oh, no, I can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> fly, eagles, fly. <laughs> right on into the dumpster. Man, that, that, game, <laughs> that game was a gut check, man. But look, we get you one more time, right? We get you one more yes, time. Yes, but, but you know what? Are you sure you want some of the Cowboys? But I don't. I, I Right now, who, know, who the hell knows? Um, yeah. Philly, I, I'm, I'm going to play a little clip for my fans out there. Okay. You, you're, you're fortunate that you don't have to see this, though. I, I just okay. Just hold this out. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a clip there, Philly, of uh, Carson Wentz uh, having a few turnovers and a few. Oh, don't passes. don't mess with my North Dakota assassin. He'll be back, Philly. <laughs> if he get if he gets some if he gets some ammunition. Philly, you gotta have ammunition, right? Philly, yep. what, what happened, yep. man? What what happened to your team? We took a we took a butt kicking. I mean, look, and 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 there's nobody that I can say was good everybody was horrendous um look i i really here's the, the way it felt to me was that first turnover early mm -hmm. i felt like all the fight go out of our team i i felt like the, the the fight just went out of them at that point you felt like it was over you know i mean there was 14 nothing you knew it was over um it, it, they're not playing good you know what can i say okay it, wait, wait 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 okay let me back it up yeah. So you're saying that it was the Eagles that weren't playing good. It wasn't no, the no, Dallas no, no, Cowboys no, 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 that no. were playing good. No, 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 no. Because that's what you, I'm you about asking to say. me from the Eagles' perspective what happened. I give full credit to Dallas. No excuses. No nothing. Dallas kicked our butt. They whipped us. They beat us in every facet. They were the better team. They deserved all the credit. I take nothing away from them. From our perspective, we had a lot of problems, you know what I mean? Well, what, 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 let me handle some business here. AB1986, I appreciate the fact that you're watching the worst content creator on YouTube. That says a lot that you're here, even though you think I stink. But I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. I, I, you know, That's okay. I'm glad I'm the worst one because I've seen some bad ones. But, you know, but, Philip, oh, yeah. where do you guys go from here? Because, see, the Cowboys... We, we, this, this is what's crazy. I could have been you right now. Right. It could have been reversed. And yeah. it's still a long season because we've seen teams rise and fall and all that. You know, but my Cowboys could come off of the bye week, which is something we usually don't do well. I hate to say this. We don't right. do well after bye weeks and lay an egg against the Giants, and then we're back in the same boat. But you got right. a tough road to hoe. You've got um, the Bears. You've got 
We got the uh, Bills this Bills, week in, in New, New England, New York, and in Buffalo. Seattle in the next four games. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, look, you know, th- there's two, two, two trains of thought right now. I think, I think people are very pissed off today. So, so you know, you, you got to get a couple days out and kind of get your senses. But I think there's some people that are like, dude, we're old. We, we know we're not going anywhere. Blow this thing up and let's get, get rid of these guys from the Super Bowl team. Whoa, 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 and let's whoa, whoa, start. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're talking about blowing it up now? No, no. I'm telling you there's two trains of thought. There's oh. some people that feel that way. And then there's others like me who feel like you're one game out, as bad as it's gotten. Mm-hmm. Um, you got to keep fighting. You, you, you got you're only one game out. Anything can happen. You still play Dallas again, and you go out and you try to fix this thing. Now in the off season, there's no question that you have to you have to trim a lot of fat off the age and some of the guys on the Super Bowl roster. I think a lot of guys. Um, Jason Kelsey said at this speech, he said. Hungry when they won and had to pray, he said, "Hungry dogs run fast." Uh-huh. It seems like a lot of the Eagle players, it's like, you know, do- dogs that are full don't run at all, kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> it seems like a lot of full stomachs and full bellies, uh-huh. and I think they're going to have to do some cutting the fat in, in the off season. But right now, let's go one last hurrah. Let's do our best to try to at least win a division, and and that's what I'm hoping that they're going to do. And I think these next two games against Buffalo and, and Chicago, I think that'll, that'll tell us a lot. Let me ask you a real question. Okay. Did you cry last night? I, I was close. <laughs> I was close. You know, people don't understand. Me and you have been going back and forth <laughs> all off season, oh, all man. Yeah. spring, all you, summer. You know what? I waited. This was the game. <laughs> like, I had waited. And they to lay an egg like that just just killed me. It killed me. I mean, I look, I can lose by three points a field goal at the end. I mean, it breaks your heart, but it's like, all right, everybody went out there. I mean, I I don't know. See see the way I see it, um, I see a problem this game, and I saw a problem uh, last week versus Minnesota. Now Dallas deserves full credit. I take nothing from them, mm-hmm. but at times I feel like some of these Eagle players are just going through the motions. You know what I mean? I mean, Nelson Aguilar. Oh, okay? man, you've been killing him, man. You and think, I've been you killing think he's a and rat, he goes huh? out and he, and, he, and he short-armed it. It was for, for who, for what, 2.0. Uh, you know, re- re- referencing <laughs> Ricky Waters back in the day yeah. with the Eagles. I remember um, them. Remember. Yeah, but, but I, mean, I mean, he's killing us. You know, things like that, it's just, you know, I, I, I don't know. And then now all this drama with the – with the anonymous, um, you know, person saying stuff, and, and now they're saying it's all Sean Jeffrey. Then Lane Johnson comes out and says players are late for practices. They're late for meetings. So it's like, what, yeah, what I the was, hell's going you, on you know, that, that, over that, there? That's the thing. I'm, I'm Wait a minute. It's just like, wait a minute. What is going on in Philly? Because I heard that. And, I was, and, and the other thing where you guys just seem to be, you are literally just trading and trying to get, it's like you are desperate. You guys are calling well, everybody. Trying I, I, to get I, am, I am desperate because here's, here's how I see it, Mark. Mm-hmm. I see that, that we're stuck with what we got for this year. At the end of the year, it's over, right? So the Eagles made the decision. We're going to bring in some of these older guys. And I don't know how I – I fell for it, man. I fell for it, not going to lie. Um, I'm seeing the age of this team. And and what I'm saying is – No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to bow down now. Because what I did I tell down. you? What did no 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 Philly Philly I, Philly? I know I know what, you what, told me. I what know. did I tell you? Look, I know look. I know you're right. You're I right. told you. You're right. You were one of the oldest teams out there with all these veterans, and I yeah. told you. I said old people don't get better; they get old, and they take longer to heal. Look at no, uh, right. Deshaun right. Jackson. What was the last time I that know. dude played? Okay, week one. We won. We looked great. <laughs> Jason Peters, he gone again, you know, and, and uh, your rookie. Yeah. Did you see before my man got hurt that bull rush mm-hmm. on him? That had to hurt. Yeah. That was yeah, just... he, he should have been playing all year. And that way, he you know, he would have been a lot more seasoned coming into this game if he would have played for six weeks. I mean, I mean, look, you're right about the age. You're right. And, and – and I, I should have known better. I, I use, you know, my logic was, well, Peters is 37 and Sproles is this, and they're just blowing up the average. But these guys are always hurt. It's just a fact. Um, but I think with us being stuck with what we are for the rest of the year, 
I say go out and get Antonio Brown. Go out and get somebody and bring it in. What do you have to lose? You're wait, blowing wait, wait, it up wait. at the end Philly, of the year Philly. anyway. Philly. So you already talk about guys that aren't showing up on for practice and late and everything else. You think Antonio Brown is going to? <laughs> oh, I think I think so, Mark. I think he's a good guy. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, man. Listen, 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 listen. Think about this. <laughs> I'm thinking What's about he, this. If he, go, if he shows up in Philly, right, it, it, he cannot screw up. Because if he screws up, he'll never get another contract on another team. But if he comes and he plays good for eight weeks, guess what, man? You well, The Eagles will help you find a new team. They will say he was great in the locker room Ooh. and he can get a contract. I say do it. Let's do it. What do we have to lose? You know What, what do we got to lose? What, what do you got to lose? Okay, well, you know what? Your soul. That's what you have to lose, man. You've got to have some integrity. We had a guy like Greg Hardy. We, no, no. We had Greg Hardy up in here, and, man, that guy just made things even worse. And see, right now, you got people that it, it, this this goes back to. I think some of this goes back to Nick Foles. Yes, the Folesian Society members are out in full effect right mm-hmm. now. Yes, because this is this is like Seattle with the defense that looked at Russell Wilson in that interception that said, "You cost me my second ring." And right. They basically had to get rid of all of those guys and start all over. Yeah, I, I mean, there's there, look, there may be some truth to that, I, I, and I'm gonna say this too. And I, I'm just, I'm just speaking honestly today. That we're taking a day break from the ball busting. We'll start again next week. You know what I mean? Building up to the second game. But for today, I'm just gonna be honest. The Eagles have to change the way they play offense for Carson Wentz. They're, they're not, Nick Foles is not there, and they have to bring in guys that fit what Carson Wentz does, not what Nick Foles does. And I think they ask him to do too much of what Nick Foles does, and that's just not his style and not his game. Wait a minute, but isn't a franchise quarterback supposed to succeed no matter what he has, wide receiver? He's supposed to put the team. You, you, team, you, you team, know He the puts the team that. on the you back. You know the because answer. See, you know see, you well know, I, I have a limited quarterback. You know, and Dak Prescott. Right, you know, right. See, it's always see, you always circle it back to Dak. You know, no, we, no. I'm just Dak. going by because they were talking about Dak Prescott. He needs that running game. You know, he needs wide receivers that can catch he the does. football. You know, and he does. And, and Carson I mean, Wentz. And now you're saying Carson Wentz has needs. Uh, yes, I oh, am. Every quarterback okay, has needs. Okay. You want to say maybe two quarterbacks could make anybody look good that I know? Maybe two. Right. Oh. Everybody else needs help. Cowboy fan you know? 73, hope you're enjoying it. I appreciate the super chat. Dude, that's like some scary <laughs> shit. How about this one? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's what I'm going to hear tonight. You know what I mean? Okay. I had to go get to the doctor and get my blood pressure checked today. I thought it was going to be like, I thought they are going to put me on medication. I, I, I'll be because I was so pissed off from last night's game. You know, Philly, you know? I, I'm going to be honest, man. I sat there in my Cowboys command center chair there watching the Cowboys, and we had you up on the screen. I don't know if you knew this, but we had the, I knew. the Philly cam up there where we saw you, and, and you were about <laughs> six or seven seconds delayed, so we would know what was coming, and we would see you so happy, and all of a sudden, ah, oh, I know. <laughs> and I just was like, I felt bad, you know? Yeah, I, I, I felt bad, but then I had some of those trolls come in here and right. just kind of talking trash and telling me how much we suck. And it's kind of like, you know, what, maybe I should now, but I'm, I'm gonna be cool because you know what, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, man. I appreciate you, you coming on. I, I, I didn't even want to ask you about coming on this week. You know, in fact, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to leave Philly alone. I wasn't going to call you last night, but then I see you do a super chat last night congratulating me. I said, you know, that is really a true sportsman there. And well, you you got to be able to give it out and you got to be able to take it. That that's that's part of of the whole thing, you know. And and right now it, it's bad for me and and I got to I got to face the music. I'd rather face the music now than wait a week or two, you know what I mean? Well, get it over with. You don't have time to lick your wounds, man, cuz you guys got to get ready to play on Sunday. Fortunately for us, we, we, I mean, not that our schedule is much better than yours right now, because this thing ain't over. I oh, know. No. Because when you think about this, let's go back to last year at this time. Both right. of us were behind the Redskins. Right. Think about, everybody, think about that. Anybody who thinks that, oh, we're headed to the Super Bowl and the playoffs and everything else, think about that. Yeah. Yeah. The Redskins were leading the division right now, and we lost to the Redskins. So, yeah. you know, things change. It's a long season, and by no means 
is this thing over with? I remember back, um, I think it was with the Giants, when I thought for sure the Giants were done because they had this hellacious schedule. And I basically said, if the Giants end up making the playoffs, you know, I'll do something crazy. And they ended up making the playoffs, which I could right. not believe to save my life. Right. Um, they ran the gauntlet. They made it in as a wild card and go on and win the Super Bowl. And they kicked our ass when we had home field advantage. So by no means is this thing done. You no. get the right player in there and get some right attitude. You know, hey, Bird hey. Gang Sports, thanks for showing up, man. So you're a real fan. See, I got respect for you. But I appreciate it. Hey, 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 listen, Mark. You know, you, you, people could look at Dallas as a team that was, what, three and five, and you went out and you got Amari Cooper, and look and what changed. he did for your team. So. Well, for the Dallas Cowboys, and this is the thing they keep saying that, you know, well, Cowboys can't win without Zeke. I dare say the Cowboys can't win without Amari Cooper. And this Mark really Cooper. goes back to the whole thing of being balanced. Really, it's it's having all three. You got to have the running right. attack and balance. And everybody's saying, oh, well, the Cowboys didn't throw that much, you know, passing yards like Kirk Cousins. But when you're balanced, we kept you guys guessing on where the ball was going to go, and it just picked you guys apart. I I thought I thought I thought we were out coached by a long shot. I mean that that fourth and it was a fourth and short play where he pitched out to to Zeke. I mean the, the Eagles. Oh. The Eagles had no clue that was coming. Mm-hmm. I mean, I thought, I thought, I thought you guys all coached that, us. That move that Zeke made out there, where he literally stopped on a dime, and yeah, gave, gave him and two the nickels. <laughs> he kept going. the run by Tony Pollard. Oh, my man, Dak uh, Prescott. Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna have one last question while you're doing your walk of shame here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Give me your real thoughts on Dak Prescott. Well, you know, it's funny because I, I say this go. all the time to people. Um, if we're being honest, I say Dak is – I always say he. I think he could be a very good quarterback. He's got to have the right coaching and the right people around him, and I think he could be good. And I don't mean players. I mean teachers. I mean people who are letting him be a quarterback and not just a game manager. And that was my big problem with, with, with him his first couple of years was – you don't ask him to do anything different than he did his rookie year. Uh, this year they are, and, and I think he's a good quarterback. Oh, okay. And, and, and let me ask you, what, what are your thoughts on Carson Wentz right now? I is think Carson still, Wentz is, he is still, a great quarterback. Is he still the North Dakota assassin? He's still the North Dakota assassin, but he just somebody stole his ammunition. Even you though know, some of the players want to assassinate him? <laughs> Look, yeah. Well, those, those, whoever's <laughs> doing that, they got to go. But my, my feeling is that, you know, I know – People like to go after Carson. Do you realize people were calling for him to get traded and for Foles when Goddard fumbled the ball? Oh, they started oh, attacking well, so Carson. You, you got some of the fans we have because before the game we had people trade Dak Prescott. That was like for who? Yeah, who, who, yeah. Are, you, who are you getting? I but mean, if, 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 I mean, I'm just gonna say if Eagle fans are honest, if they're honest and they've watched every game. They know that the Eagles don't even have a chance in most of these games if he isn't playing the way he is. Now, I'm not saying he's perfect, but I'm None saying of, that he, he goes out funny. and he gives you everything he's got. None of these quarterbacks are perfect, but, you know, we got Cowboy fans that, you know, even though we were up big, we'd have a bad play. And, you know, Dak gets sacked. Bench him, man. Get rid of this ball. And that's just like it was one play. Yeah. Uh, it's like, are you kidding yeah. me? Yeah, and I and I, I did lose my cool a little bit. Like I was getting annoyed because, and it's not at the cowboy trolls or they they don't bother me. It's when they you don't? get the, the no Eagle they trolls bother me. It, it's, it, what bothers <laughs> me is the Eagles fans who hate Carson Wentz and they wait. They don't say anything until they he does something wrong. That's cowboy then they ones. want to attack you about foals oh because God. they don't. They're Eagle fans, but they don't care if they lose because they just want to be able to say, "See, we should have kept foals," and that drives me nuts. You know, we have, I, I, I've got this one on Facebook that's like that. He claims to be a Cowboys fan. And you know who you are, Kevin Milton. You know who you are. You are the biggest troll. You are a bigger troll than any Eagle fan out there. Because it's like he'll put up a meme of, of, of <laughs> Dak Prescott. And then he's got smiley faces on it. And it's like, how do you claim to be a Cowboy fan? Oh, well, I support the team, just not him. And it's just like... right. It's about the star and the team. You should be, you know, rooting for the guy to do well because if he does well, the team wins. And, you know, that's what I thought we wanted. But, yeah, you know, see, I appreciate this because, see, a lot of people are like, why are you talking to this guy, Philly 500? Listen, go to his <laughs> channel. And, actually, I got a new name for you. You know that, right? Yeah, below – I saw Philly it. Philly below I, What can I say at that point, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Sometimes you just got to take the L, right? You just you got to take it. it I, I know my days are coming. I know I'm going to get worn out, but at least you're not getting your head shaved today. No, I'm not getting my head shaved. But um, I, I respect you. But everybody, listen, go to his channel, subscribe to his channel and everything else, because you know what? He's a good guy. He, unfortunately, he's an Eagle fan. And, and in fact, I think he might be like my brother from another mother team or something or other here because listening to him it's kind of like that happens with cowboy fans too but he is really really cool people and this is what being a football fan is about you know we don't do personal attacks on each other we will trash each other team philly 400 i like that Corey. that's a good one so definitely check him out and stuff and um just don't be too mean to i mean you know don't don't kick the dog type you know mean to him his his team stinks (laughs) <laughs> I'm giving you. I'm giving you guys. I'm not saying anything. And, and you know, after a week or so, and and maybe we get a win in Buffalo. I'll, you know, then then I'll start building up the next game. But there right now, but I'm, right. I'll shut. I'm, I'm gonna let you go, man. Okay. Well, thanks can... for having me on. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, oh Enjoy wait, wait, your wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You need to send yeah. me your address because we have to send you your award. What award? The toilet bowl. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll text you. Yeah. I'll yes, t- we're going to send Philly a toilet bowl. Oh, All right, buddy. Like my wife is going to. That's right. I got that thing. I go, damn it. I forgot about that. I thought I got all scot free. Oh, thing. no, buddy. You're getting the toilet bowl. Congratulations. Oh, all right, Philly. Boy. All right. Thank the you. Eagle buddy. steak. Oh, I'll take it today. Peace out. Any final words for the Cowboys? Enjoy. Enjoy this while it lasts. All right. That's it. See ya. All right. Peace. <laughs>